Hello, everybody. My name is Bear, and this is Reynblesa. I probably mispronounced that. Speaking of mispronouncing things, it was developed by Morgan Dog. It's a new roguelike space odyssey and exploration game. I'm actually going to go ahead and jump in here, completely uh, reset my game data real fast. Yes, I absolutely want to do that. Oh my god, well, there we go. That's a change. I was not expecting that. All right. Completely cleared. Got a brand new experience here. Let's go ahead and launch. I'll, I'll let you guys uh, check out the opening cutscene before we get into too much else here. The day you died, watched it explode, watched it burn, observed the explosion, observed the fire, thinking of you. Pretty deep. Introspection, the name of the game. This is Rimbresa. It is space as it should probably be shown and showcased sometimes. Very open, vast, and lonely. Check out the mission screen real quick. I must travel, I must seek and reach. The resources are my fuel, and without them there is only death. Space points, achievements, stats points, all kinds of fun stuff. Here's our pilot screen. By leveling up and by acquiring certain amounts of space points, we can level up our skill sets. We have exploration, scouring. I thought that was scouting at first. I think it's scouring. Technology and survival. You can see all the little perks and uh, bonuses to those as well. It's pretty straightforward, for the most part. Once you jump in here, you can see there's no tutorialized sections or anything like that. This is the very beginning of the game, so it just kind of leaves you to, uh, to figure things out on your own, which is not that difficult to do. You've got your space bar, which activates a small boost. You can see uh, little red things here around space, time, and forever that are more than likely not to be touched. You know, basic gamer instinct, red and glowing, probably want to steer clear. As you're floating through space, you'll occasionally run into these... Oh my god, this is actually... <laughs> this in particular, I've never seen a, uh, a field of little point bubbles. So glorious, this is terrific. You'll uh, float around and you'll just start uh, collecting things. Just trying to uh, feel it out, see what's up. I'm approaching this from the perspective of a, uh, a fresh mindset again. Because I, I kind of honestly wish I had recorded this the very first time I played it, because it was... It was uh, a, a pleasant surprise, I suppose I should say. It, it really caught me off guard, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But here's uh, kind of the mainstay attraction here. So once we come across things like this, we can uh, choose to explore. And the results will depend on whatever random generation occurs here. These are all procedurally generated areas, of course. With space, it kind of... I mean, I mean it kind of has to be that way, right? My personal space is becoming one with outer space. Got pretty lucky with that one. We actually found an item from that as well. And we got ourselves a pilot level up. Jump at our pilot screen here again. So we got five stat points available. I'll just go ahead and toss those willy-nilly. Haven't really decided uh, which of these is the best for uh, the early game, but maybe we'll find out later on. Also grab something from the inventory here. We got ourselves a technical sentry of texture. That's fun to say out loud. Some nice little stat bonuses there. Now, depending on the kind of ship you're utilizing, you may not actually be able to use some of the items that you come across. In fact, uh, in the first playthrough I had... Oh, see, there we go. We got our sentry out here now, as opposed to just the arrow that's pointing us in the right direction. But I came across quite a few items in my first experiences that I wasn't actually able to utilize. And uh, I realized that I need to unlock other ships by way of collecting all these points. You know, natural progression system just... Worked kind of well to Love, tell me it that way. I can't get rid of these dreams. Can't get rid of these thoughts. The only thing that I can control is this ship. It's the only real thing out here. It keeps me focused. And that focus is the only thing making this life of mine somewhat worth living. It keeps my soul alive. And that is our first run-in with who I believe is sort of our protagonist, I guess. Perhaps the pilot of the vessel we got floating around out here in space. It's easy to draw the conclusion that you're stranded out here. Measuring the amount of years you've been drifting along. Trying to maybe put the pieces together as to what happened. Oh my god, this is dangerous. There we go. They stress us, as you used to say, to obsession. 
Lost some resources there, but we've got some space points. If you didn't notice down here, the resources bar is actually what we utilize to move around. So holding down the mouse button will give you some propulsion, but at the cost of a very finite amount of resources. So you're kind of better off in most circumstances just allowing the natural drift of space to carry you to wherever you're end up or you're gonna end up going here. But you can also easily tell sometimes that there are gravitational pulls affecting certain objects, including yourself. So, for example, this asteroid belt seems to lead me to believe that there's something going on down over this way, so it might be worth a small investment of resources to go down here and check it out. The hidden storage. Stumbling around the ship for months before deciding to look behind one of the old storage crates. Something shiny! A new opportunity emerges. Ooh, so we get to choose here. We can either gain just free space points straight up, we can activate the pilot manual, a page from the how-to fly manual, small chance to gain stat points, or we can spawn a star field. I'll try this out, see if maybe I get lucky. Yeah, we did. Tremendous. Okay. Go ahead and just, uh, pop those in there again, why not? I should probably pay more attention to that, but... Oh well. Oh my god, wow, okay, so there's our, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really do too much about that. Oh, now our resources are low as well. Okay, so we really need to come across something. Actually, this might do it. Hold on, let's just make almost a complete investment in this thing. Hopefully I can actually explore it. There we go. No, oh, nothing. Darn, that's a bummer. Really low on resources now. So if we run dry, I'm pretty sure that's, that's going to do it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the majority of the game here is just this drifting, this exploration. Like I said, just a, a certain feeling of serenity. An ancient spacecraft on its maiden voyage. Traveled for years and years she has, a journey in Foreverland. Without goals and direction, no final destination. This giant queen of ships shouting out for help she does. A distress call from the darkest of hours, a deafening howl. So it's a sort of FTL choice system here as well. If you come into random events out in space, you can choose to either interact with it or, you know, take your chances elsewhere. The madness within these walls has swallowed them who once nourished it. No one heard them scream when they were consumed by the darkness. A tragic story with a tragic demon hero. He who stabbed them all and then himself. I was never there, I saw nothing, but I will end the queen's journey and let her burn. It's, uh... Maybe the conversation's a man who's only had his thoughts to accompany him in years of space travel. I seem a little more normal. Oh, we really need something good out of this here. Give me some resources, please. This hunger inside is killing me. Needs something, something that isn't tasteless. I go inside and empty the fuel tank. Looking, well, let's go for some real food. Only crappy space food, but we did get a few resources there, so we're not totally boned anymore. Oh, that's bad. Wow! Okay. <laughs> I did not... Oh, I did not expect that collision course to come through. So, that was... That was our first death, and of course, in traditional roguelike fashion, death does absolutely not spell the end of your... the end of your mission here. Screaming. No one hear you screaming. Space is empty. So, we didn't get enough space points unfortunately to unlock a different cruiser class. We'll go ahead and stick with the colonizer here. But we do maintain the items that we got from the last expedition, so that sentry is still sticking around for the ride. And, uh, hopefully we can find a few more things this time as well. Hopefully we'll even find something that will, uh, allow me to show off the research tab, too, because that's an entire... That's an entire new ball game right there. Generally, I do just tend to, uh, follow the direction of the navigator, although... It does not, uh... There is nothing that is actively preventing you, of course, from just going out and wandering around willy-nilly. Ooh, look at that. Found a rare engine. That is very good. Quite nice. Boosted up our speed a little bit, so we'll be able to move around a little faster now. Satellite here, too. Let's take a gander. Yeah. You fail You furious machine. With a nasty grin on your surface floating around. Only problems you bring. Rusty and ugly you are. Your signals I can't rely on. They are only causing disturbance in my radio. It's just, it's incredibly mellow. That, it's... The words that I want to reiterate over and over again 
Sometimes I need a game like this that'll just let me zone out completely. It requires very little interaction sometimes. In fact, just allowing yourself to sit back and just drift through space and see where it takes you sometimes ends up being a little bit more fun. Of course, the general sense of objectives is also necessary, which they've done pretty well here. I think the, uh, I think the mission screen speaks for itself. There's also, of course, other missions we could undertake. For example, you get some... You get some, uh, progression boosts based on your ability to interact with space in certain ways. Unlocking other ships, of course, gives you some space points, some achieve achievements, some achievements, ha. <laughs> Research there, you got some advanced stuff, you're gonna get into some really cool stuff right here. For example, there's the, uh, the orb. The orb in your mothership. There's some craziness to be had there. Ooh, let's go ahead and use a bounce pad, actually. There we go. That's some fun, too. Oh my god, wow, that was close. But the, uh, the, uh, oh my god, wow, that was bad. Okay, so, <laughs> the longer you last, of course, you see the year is ticking up here, and it is difficult to even stay alive so long as you are, uh, you know, trying to move around and find some stuff. Ooh, look at this. So here's one, uh, uh, one example of an item that we cannot use unless we use a different ship class. This one is required, or the Lacacena is required to utilize that aura. Auras are nice, though. There's all kinds of neato little items. Of course, you've noticed, too, that the ship is pretty bare-bones right now, but once you find other items, it actually does have the paper doll effect of, uh, oh my god, we need to... We need to get kind of lucky here with some resources. It looks like there might be a sun over here, actually, which would be really dangerous. Oh no, okay, we got some stuff rotating around, which means we've got a gravitational pull that we are not exploring, which it looks like it might be over here. I'm really low on resources again. Oh, there's what we're looking for. Okay, so there's the, uh... Here's the beacon we needed, and that is a bunch of resources. Oh my god. Black hole in faraway space. Loads of energy streaming from it. Lucky me. So if we can manage to find nine of those uh, mission objective markers, then we will make our progress. Oh my god, I want this one. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, Jesus. That's all right. Totally worth it. Some kind of hope. Very good. Let's go this way. What tangent was that, huh? Oh, that's right, yeah, so the, uh, the items do actually show up on your ship as you build out more, so that's, that's pretty neat. When approaching this galaxy, my scanners detect a plasma storm coming this way. Too late to turn back now, I need to go around it, I had to lose some resources, gain a few space points, though. Oh, and this is another gold mine here. Terrific to get all these, basically, free points, getting us closer and closer to maybe another ship unlock. a time before this, hidden in a nowhere-to-be-seen past. I remember me, looking up on the stars, having this odd feeling inside. A feeling I think they call happiness. So morbid. I'll be honest, it's a little, uh... It's a little high school notebook sometimes, but... Uh, it, it makes sense. It, it fits in well with the, uh, with the theme and the atmosphere, so I give it a pass. I might draw some flack for this comparison, too, but I kind of, I associate it in my mind with maybe a, a bare-bones 2D No Man's Sky. Because we've been talking a lot, of course, about what No Man's Sky is actually going to be as far as, you know, gamifying the idea of it. And, oh my god, there's a sun, by the way, so even being in the aura of the sun is extraordinarily dangerous. My goodness, we are not getting lucky. Might I may even uh, need to invest a few more piloting points in the positive outcomes from exploration here. But yeah, with No Man's Sky, I'm imagining that we're gonna probably do very similar things here. Just kind of wandering out in the vastness of space and seeing what we can come up with. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's why you save the boost sometimes. You want to make sure that if you get caught off guard, you got an escape ready in your back pocket. This is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I'm just on the verge of finding a galaxy or if that's like a weird gla graphical glitch. I think it's... I think it's actually not supposed to be there. Hold on, let's maybe boost real quick. Oh, we're re really, really low on resources again. Shoot. Alright, we gotta start going this way. Really gotta find this thing. Not really... I don't know what's going on with this, actually. It's kind of freaking me out. 
Okay, two opportunities for explorers here, and this is what we're looking for. I love the art as well. It's so bizarre, but it fits. I like it quite a bit. The music, of course, as well. Just every, every important element of making you feel what you're supposed to feel when you play a game like this. It's all there, and it all works. And that's, a, that's what I think I like so much about this game. This is something I can't explain, a being so incredible. Mark my words. It was not just a dream, and if I could reach, I would travel and travel inside of it and always stay. There's also kind of a soft cap on the amount of resources you can have at any time. You can see here, down here there's the potential for shields. We do have a few items down on this side as well. Gamble box, gain mass resources, or lose your life. I'm going to go ahead and avoid that one for a little while. I feel like this is intentional. I just don't know what it's supposed to represent. What I do. Eating. Exercising. Checking the ship. Staring. Trying to contact the others. Dreaming. Waiting. Sleeping. What a life I am living. Oh, there we go. Alright, time to invest some more points in exploration here. I'm gonna go all in in that stat, actually, for now. It's very easy to just get completely lost. Oh god, especially now. Oh my goodness. I uh, lost some more resources there. The entire planet is made out of ice. Scanning the planet, I'm not able to extract anything of importance. The technology of today doesn't allow it. No idea on how to land here right now. Legendary. Oh, snap. What do we get? Expert data bank of energy. Ooh, we need the Ragnarok. Nice. I haven't gotten a legendary item yet. That's fun. Require 35 technology. Also, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. There's a lot left to discover, I guess. Ooh, man, we're in a whole new zone here, it looks like. There's our beacon, though. Let's go check this out. Smoke and mirrors in space. And beautiful destruction. Nothing but a dust cloud of death behind. Three out of nine. And we got a good engine, too. And another one that's locked, though, unfortunately. You want to check this out real quick. This does seem... It seems like it's a glitch, but I don't know. I can give it the benefit of the doubt to a point where I can accept that as just like a, a part of the background. It is like... Oh, what is that? I, I used to know the name for that term where a piece of the artwork is moving in such a way that it's meant to indicate, you know, a massive gap between them in a 2D space. I knew that phrase at some point. If somebody knows what I'm talking about, feel free to enlighten me there. I'm loving these space points. Ooh, look at that. Found a rare style. The trendy style of mustache. Oh my god, how I wish I could wear that right now. How I wish I may, I wish I might. Okay, well that was a poor place. So yeah, definitely don't, uh... Oh yeah, another just random message here too. I've heard a tell that there is sort of an online element to this where you can just type things and leave messages for people. Sort of a journey-esque interaction where you're, you're, well, it's not really journey-esque, I would say more like a Dark Souls thing where you're leaving messages for people but you're never actually there until, you know, otherwise invited. I think I'm gonna die here, though. <laughs> I've got four resources left and I'm, it's very unlikely that I'm on my way to where I need to be unless I can just manage to get here, perhaps. They said, concentrate on the living. Do what you can for them. Find a home for them among the stars. Even though you are dead, promise to find a home for the living. The voice is kind of interesting, but I... Oh, yeah, there I go. Unfortunate negative resources there. I kind of like it, though. It, it, it's, uh, it's bizarre in a way that definitely fits the narrative here. But anyway, that is uh, Rimdresa. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this one. I, I feel like I could, could get some mileage out of this. Just kind of taking a step back, relaxing, and mellowing out with folks. But if you want to check it out for yourself, 
Feel free to uh, click the link down below. It's out on Steam on the 20th, which uh, actually might be today considering my upload schedule, so we'll see. But for now, thank you very much for watching this. Feel free to uh, click video in the annotations following the end of this here vid. And I'll see you next time.